Hello, y'all. Welcome to another vlog. We're back after lunch with my friend. We actually went to the grocery store. I actually bought a few more groceries. I bought a cat litter box. I bought some eggs because I've never eaten so many eggs in my life. And we have another unboxing to do. This is actually from Amazon. I'll link it down below. This is the Fresh Keeper refrigerator storage container and it's BPA free. It's a five piece set that I got from Amazon because ever since I got pregnant, I really, really crave for fruit. And when you buy fruit, like pre-cut is pretty expensive. I've been buying them pre-cut, but today we're gonna cut up this cantaloupe and we're gonna put them in these Fresh Keeper. Uh, 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 uh. Check them out! So excited! Oh, because this, I think the biggest one would be the most helpful. I'll link it down below. So this is what it looks like, and then those are the lid. It has like different sizes, and this is the smallest sizes. And here are the actual ones. So basically what it is, is for each size you have a container and you have like this. So basically you put the fruit in here and then you put the fruit in here so your fruit is actually not all the way soaked into the juice. You know how when you buy watermelon pre-cut from the store, usually the watermelon is soaked into the juice and that's really bad because you know the fruit goes bad goes bad really easily when it's soaked into the juice like that. So by actually putting it this way, it actually prevents that so your fruit or vegetables will last longer. So the first size is this small. This is the smallest one. I think the smallest one, to me, you can put olives in there. Well, I like the bigger ones. This one is pretty big. You can put strawberries. And this one is a really good size for melons, watermelons, and mangoes and stuff. And of course we have this one and even the bigger one. The bigger one is really, really, really big. It's probably like a whole big of watermelons. So if you are curious about the parameters, the small one is 24 ounces, medium is 44, large is 78, extra large is 129, and the jumbo is 196 ounces. And what I love about this one, because it's microwave safe, except for the lids, so don't microwave the lids and it is dishwasher safe so i put everything in the dishwasher if anything is not dishwasher safe then it wouldn't be good for the household because we don't like to do the dishes but of course we have to wash it before you so i'm washing it right now but like in the future it's like safe to put it in the dishwasher which is really good but just fyi if you do decide to try out this item just remember the lid is not micro safe microwave safe all right we're gonna cut up this cantaloupe and then put it in my newly washed container. I hope this is a sweet one. Oh, I cut it diagonally, oh no. Didn't go the way I want it to be. Ooh, it looks like a super sweet. Oh my gosh, look how thin the outside layer is. That's how thin the outside layer is. This, this is perfect, it smells amazing, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> it's been a while since I cut one of those because I usually don't like to do that because it makes a mess. But I think it's maybe a little bit easier. We're gonna get a spoon to scoop the seeds out. Ooh, super ripe as well. So how you pick the cantaloupe is to make sure it has a lot of weight and it looks really, really full. And you can kind of smell it. It should smell like a really nice aroma. I think I watched like a TV show when I was young. But is we're gonna cut it to the side. Some mistake has made, but it's pretty easy. <laughs> okay, and then what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna cut out the skin, and then we're just gonna cut them in chunks like this, and it's ready. Mmm. So make sure all the green stuff are out because the green stuff are not sweet, so we're just gonna cut them in chunks. Yay, it's done. So basically it has two layers if you didn't. Basically a bottom layer is a clear plastic and the top layer has these like basket where you can drain the juice from the top to the bottom but it wouldn't leak. And at the end, at the end you put the lid on. It has like all the four wings and you can click. 
and then there's a little handlebar right here so you can just use the handlebar to lift it it's very convenient yay i'll link this product down below from amazon if you guys are interested already done my food prep it took a lot out of me because it's not easy to cut it granted i think it just took me 10 minutes but i'm just being lazy and also one of my symptoms is just like ever since i'm pregnant because of the hormones my limbs are very swollen especially my lower body like my legs are super super swollen at all times almost so like standing for longer than 10 minutes 20 minutes usually make my like super heavy and you just expand so i have to lay down and use my computer on my lap just because like how oh, how swollen my legs are and i know it happens to some people in the like third trimester but during the first trimester if you're like me who's super sensitive to hormones that could be one of the issues so standing for a little bit longer is very challenging for me and i bought some makeup products the first one, I got this Dioza Water Drop Blending Sponge. It's way cheaper than Real Techniques and it's just like super, super soft. This is actually the second time I bought something from this. Those makeup products are usually packed really tight because they worry about vandalism or something. Um, so let me take it out. Yeah, this is only like $2.99. I think it's $2 cheaper than Real Techniques. Feels nice. I haven't done like full on makeup for a while because like I've been so tired. When you're tired, you just don't have you're you're not in a mood to do full on makeup. So just do a little eyeliner and brows. And then I got this Wet and Wild 16 Hour Breakup Proof Waterproof Eyeliner. This thing is super super good. And this is the second time I purchased this. Last time I bought it from CVS and actually really liked it. Before I used to buy the Kat Von D, the KVD tattoo liner, which is like $20, but this is like $5. I would still buy the tattoo liner from here and there during Sephora sale, because I do think tattoo liner is a little bit more smooth, especially like it doesn't bleed. Tattoo liner doesn't bleed. This one sometimes bleeds a little because I think it's wetter, but at the end, like when it dries up, it's just waterproof. But I do think tattoo liner is better for the underlie, but I got these. It's really good for dollars. I heard great things about this NYX Epic Ink Liner. So I'm gonna try this out. And it says it's waterproof as well. So NYX drugstore makeup. And then I got this eyebrow pencil from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil, Micro Crayon. I'll link all of this down below in the description box. And finally, I got some incense. Cause like recently, ever since I'm pregnant, like scents actually bothers me a lot. And certain candles that I used to like, I don't like them anymore, especially things with cinnamon. So I think these incense are still like, it still smells really nice to me. So I'm gonna actually burn incense with windows open from time to time just to clear the scent, especially in our mud room where the cat litter is, it kind of smells bad. So I feel more sensitive to scent, but if you're gonna burn incense, make sure the window is open. Week eight, this is the third day of the eight week, the week eight pregnancy. So third day in the eighth week. I know I can't talk today. I ate some egg for the morning. It was so good. And now I'm going to go to eat lunch at Taco Palanque with my friend. Um, I, I just felt like every day I have to eat the things that I crave for. Last night, actually, I crave for like Taco Palenque for Mexican food, but then my husband brought me Thai food. And after I ate the Thai food, I started feeling nauseous. So I have to eat the ones that I crave for or else it just, there's consequences. And then I popped a pimple. Definitely, I started to have more acne's starting last week. Probably shouldn't have popped my pimples, probably inflamed. But anyhow, we're gonna go eat. I finally can eat my taco palenque. All right. Hello everyone, I'm gonna go over a method to using your tortilla during eating lunch or dinner or breakfast. I'll go slow. Basically, you rip off a piece. You spread your beans on it. You put it down to get some rice. Oh, the man make it sticky. And usually you have meat or something to put in. You put whatever you want in there, you fold it, and then you eat it. I got the charro beans and put it as my salad dressing. Actually, it looks tastes so good. The soup actually looks good. It has quite a bit of, I would say, chicken or beef i'm gonna eat my real use my real <laughs> utensils because like this little spoon is just so small for the food but it smells so good okay i'm gonna eat some very late dinner it's currently 10 43 i'm still working 
And my research stuff is almost done though. So we got a lot of food for dinner. I know it's kind of late, but I feel like I have to eat. If I don't eat, I get nauseous again. My daily battle with nausea during pregnancy, but I definitely gain a lot of weight because I don't miss a single meal at all because I can't. In the past, I used to miss meals here and there and that's okay, but yeah, so yummy, looks good. Let's eat. Ooh, there's a lot of chicken in the soup and it actually tastes really flavorful and it has some rice at the bottom. Yummy. Morning. some breakfast okay. we're in the car we're actually driving to a chinese restaurant called lucky noodle in san antonio texas and we love the food from lucky noodle so last time when his mom was having birthday we actually ordered a lot of food from lucky noodle but by the time he went to pick it up they missed two dishes two freaking dishes and one of the dishes that actually went on missing was actually the dish that his mom ordered for her birthday which is like kind of awkward so like i called and then like after back and forth they're like you know can you just keep the credit under our name next time when we go eat then they will like you know serve us the dish that they missed because we paid for it we prepaid for the whole deal and then it wasn't there so that was like extra 20 something dollars that we paid that we didn't get food for so today we're gonna go back to lucky noodles to see if they actually honored the deal that they missed the two dishes and they're gonna give it back hopefully they do because it's one of my favorite restaurants to eat in san antonio if they don't honor it i'm probably like very disappointed i may not like go back or anything but we'll see we'll nice. see nice. <laughs> i do really like their food though so go back. It doesn't matter. i i just hope that they honor it like because like you know you gotta honor what you promised your customer okay let's go lucky if your window is so dirty there we go lucky noodle hopefully they honor the noodles that we ordered last time we got some shredded potatoes sour and spicy shredded potatoes this is the chicken stir fry noodle Ooh. <laughs> and we like the white noodles Oh, I want to eat those. Oh, look at those noodles. The texture of the noodle is amazing because it's hand, hand pulled. Mm. Mm. Yeah, chicken is a little dry. I wish they gave me more vegetable in there. A little back choy. The noodle is really good, right? We chose level two spicy. Let's get some potatoes. Those are shredded really thin. A little bit of vinegar, a little bit of the hot oil. Tastes amazing. Mmm, very crunchy, right? Yeah, the potatoes is a, like very, very good texture. Highly recommend. If definitely, you probably never tried this potato texture in the past, but it's so good. Look how long the noodles are. Mm. What do you think? Tastes like normal. Last dish, this is the sauté cabbage. Has a little bit of spice. Very good flavor. A little bit of cooked garlic. This is my go-to dish, the cabbage. Super good texture, very good flavor. It's very hard to make cabbage very flavorful. Tastes good. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we just came back from Lucky Noodle. They honored the credits. I'm so happy. Yeah, they can go back to Lucky Noodle. <laughs> yeah, now we can go back. They still yeah. thought she was crazy, that's for sure. No, like, it's a different server. That's why, like, he, she asked the kitchen, and the kitchen, like, remembered the credits. So that's good. So we'll definitely come back again because I really like the food because it has, like, a northern Chinese flavor, which is, like, where I come from. So I definitely love that. So. I'll definitely come back to Lucky Noodle and now I am filling for some frozen yogurt and we're just gonna get frozen yogurt as some dessert let's go orange leaf one of our favorite stores let's check it out I'll get a plain yogurt because I like it with fruit So I got the classic plain and the mango. The mango actually tastes pretty good. And then I got a lot of fresh fruit and some graham crackers on the top. And this guy, what flavor did you get? Coconut. Coconut. Brownie hazelnut. Brownie hazelnut with a bunch of chocolate. Yeah. And caramel. And caramel. I don't like caramel. They were out of mangoes. This guy, not healthy. Taste bar, also not healthy. The mango flavor is actually really good. I just crave for more fruit because I love that sweet and sour taste. Got my strawberries, blueberries, and kiwis are the best with frozen yogurt. Kiwis are the best. The graham crackers makes it better. It definitely adds more texture. Hello guys, it's Sunday. Look at this guy eating in the back. So it's Sunday, I think 7.30. And I'm gonna go for a walk with my friends at like a local trail. And this guy's gonna go play tennis with his brother. But it's kind of early. It's like still kind of dark, but it's gonna get a little bit of like a little bit warm. But have my have my shirt on, long sleeve shirt on. It's finally. Love your O O T D. What's wrong with you? Yeah, outfit of the day. I have my long long sleeves on because usually we wear short sleeves because it's in the very early in the morning. So I'm gonna go for my walkies. T-shirt from this store. Shorts from this store. What is Shoes your T-shirt from? from? Store. Under Elmer. Under Elmer. Where's my T-shirt? Shorts from Walmart. Shoes from China. No, my shirt is from... Bass Pro Shop. Well, it's Columbus, like sunscreen shirt. Okay, anyways, we're going to go for walks. He's going to go do whatever. What I'll see you guys later. Trying to wake up early. Early birds gets the work. Hey guys, we're up and going again. We just went to his popo's house, his grandma's house, um, to deliver some food. We gave her some other tofu's, and now we're gonna we're gonna try to go to a fruteria. Um, because like my friend recommended this like Mexican fruteria and it, it like the fruit we got like last time it was so good like the mangoes are so ripe and everything and it was just like delicious so like we want to go again it's on Eckers Road we'll try to like link it down below I hope they're open and then we're gonna I think we're gonna get frozen yogurt again and I am thinking about mashed potatoes for dinner but we'll see <laughs> it's like a weird food cravings every time but these days all I do these days is just eat, 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 and then like every time I just want something different. Like I do feel like food is very comforting these days. Let's go. also have corn cups oh my gosh this is so good the mangoes are super ripe that's so that's so good like i'm so glad we found this place it's not too far it's just on eckert so we'll probably link the address down below support small business oh yummy popeye's chicken we're here again I got frozen yogurt again. What flavor did you get? Strawberry? Strawberry. 
Reese's and cheesecake. Strawberry Reese's and cheesecake. I got a classic tart and strawberry. I didn't like a pineapple, but I already got some. Got fresh fruit, just like yesterday. But this location, this location doesn't have mango, so I'm kind of sad. But that's okay. Let's eat.